What's the offence that you suspect me of? What's the offence that you suspect me of? You are flying in a public place. Is that an offence? It can be, yes. Really? I'd rather know if it is can rather than can. Because if you can fly over at a certain height, yeah. that's an offence. If you fly over to a crowded public area, that is an offence. Okay, is this a crowded public area at the minute? It's not at the minute. Quite no. a few people so, are out currently. The thing Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here at Croydon Police Station in London, the Metropolitan Police again. We're getting very lucky with our day trip into London with Mr. Cody Burks there. Uh, I'll check the fly zone now because uh, he's eager to get the drone up. So we'll get that flight uh, restriction zone checked as shown on the screen just there. So we're all clear on the flight restriction zone. We'll just wait for this noisy ambulance to go past. And then we'll crack on. But it certainly looks older than the other ones we've seen today. Croydon Police Station, Metropolitan Police. But it's another massive one. And it's even got its own car park again at the back. Nice grounds, look how nice it's kept. Flag outside. Nice disabled uh, access into the front desk, which looks a lot uh, quieter than what we've seen so far. And we are in a nice residential area like this. And we've got one of them big carriers where they can slide the front uh, windscreen protector down. Beast they are. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, that's what it's it called. A-U-D-I-T, audit. Audit, oh, audit. You film the police and you see how they react. Oh, see. Because you can film from public. Huh? You can film from public. Oh, yeah. And it's just to see how they behave. Can they handle it? Nice experiment, documentary. I like it. So, yeah, let's see what the, um, the back gate looks like. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> see if the drone can see anything that they're hiding in there. Yeah, we've got a few nice vehicles in the back. All nice and clean. Forensic services there, look. Couple of Vauxhalls, a BMW back there, and a Ford van. A few motorcycles. Oh, they're all been uh, seized, look. That one's wrecked. And that one's been stolen as well. Look at the barrel in that one. So yeah, you can't see much from this view. So let's get the drone up. See what else there is to see from above and go from there. Please keep operational noise to a minimum when in the station yard. So they're very close to houses. They're actually being uh, considerate with the amount of noise they make.
the matter? Huh? What's happening? Do you mind identifying yourself? Yeah, thank you, Jay. I've got 76, sorry. And what's your name? Pacey Black, Ride Traffic, Pacey Command, Transport Team 3, Gordon Police Station. Okay. What's your boy's name there for? I feel like I recognise you from a YouTube channel, is that right? I feel like I might have seen you. What's your name? My name? Yeah. Pinak. Pinak. Oh. So why are you stood outside the police station? I haven't got anything better to do. Really? Yeah. Why are you stood out here? I was just wondering what you were doing filming. I can't really hear you too well. Can you? No. Oh, it's it's quite, quite a bit. <laughs> if someone was recording with a drone outside your house, do you think you'd get an answer from them? Yeah, well. Probably, yeah. I wouldn't bother me. What if the drone was like above your garden? It wouldn't bother you. Well, bother me. I'm well, sorry. Is this your garden? Do you live here? No, but I work here. You can probably tell. I'm just confused about what the actual problem is. I missed this. I'm, I missed it. I, I, I'm confused as well. What are you doing here? With, like flying a drone over the Would you identify station? yourself, please? Would you identify yourself? It's here. You just no, have it's to not read. professional, is it? Well, it is. Your name, you colour number. I'm not sure what's going on over there. I don't know what they're going on about. <laughs> They're talking over there to, to somebody who hasn't even got the drone. They're talking to him about drones. How bizarre is that? So anyway, I'm going to take the drone back up. So if they want to talk about drones, they can come and talk to the person who's got the drone. <laughs> yeah, is that simple? Constable, before you go, could I just ask you one question? Yes, sir. Your questions so far relating to drones. If you don't wish to continue, that's fine. But yeah, member of the public, do you know your questions so far relating to the drone? Like I say, if you don't want to continue without knowing my name, that is perfectly fine. But the question that I was going to ask might affect what you do next. But it's a shame you didn't want to ask it. My question is, your concerns about the drone today have been directed to my colleague, okay? We are separate people. Okay. Just that he had a drone pad in his hand. A what? And he said he had a drone with him when we arrived. Yeah, as long as you know, I'm making it clear now, we're separate people, okay? So if you've got an issue with the drone, you've not told me about it. I was over there when you arrived. I've come over to try and understand what's going on. Do you have a license to fly a drone? Yes, thank you, yes. Okay. Can I see the license? And if you suspect me of committing an offence with the drone, the police do have the powers to ask for the operator ID. What's the offence that you suspect you me of? ID, what's the offence that you suspect me of? Well, you are flying in a public place. Is that an offence? It can be, yes. Really? I'd rather know if it is can rather it? than can. Because if you can fly at a certain height, yeah. that's an offence. If you fly over to a crowded public area, that is an offence. Okay, is this a crowded public area at the minute? It's not at the minute. Quite no. a few people so, are out currently. Thing is, do you know what classes as a crowd? A, that's a toy, mate. Yeah. There, are, there are roads, which if it crashes, it hits a car. You know, yeah, it's flying it near a road, knowing that risk, so, is not around, unlawful, is it? Turning around to say someone, if that happens, no, I've got enough now, I'm not showing you. I don't know no, do you know what my reply would be if it caused an injury or damage? I'd reply, would you like to see the insurance details that I've got? So, any more other concerns? Because I know at first you was saying that. Yeah, if you didn't, if I didn't tell you my name, am I lawfully obliged? Am I lawfully obliged to tell you my name? Anyway, anyway, it's not getting anywhere, is it? Okay, let's do this.
we can all learn and benefit from the experience if we just allow it to go that way. But what experience is that? Well, when you come across people with drones, there are certain things that they could be doing that could be unlawful, and we could help you understand those. Mm -hmm. As you say, you've never seen one before. You can see how easy they are to operate. It just sits there unless you touch the controls. So you can see the video image on that. Yeah, I can see your police station there. If I wanted to zoom in on your vehicles. You can see why he was asking the question, though, can not well, we're, we're here. Secure environment, isn't it? Now there's an so app. If you're coming and recording it, you can see why he's interested. Okay, can I reply? Yeah, of course. A secu more a secure place is a prison. It is. And that's okay. why they've got a restriction around them. Police stations haven't for a reason because they're not classed as private and secure. Police station isn't secure? They're not as secure as a prison, no. Because the risk of things happening in a prison, <laughs> like drop, drugs being dropped, Where's that risk in, in the being dropped off? Yeah, like in prisons. By so is that risk there in police stations? It's not, is it? So what actually are you worried about with drones being in the sky? Well, as I said to I don't know if he's your friend or someone else, member of the public earlier, if someone was recording a drone over my house like that and chat to them, see what they were doing. We don't do houses, office. just places of work. Okay. So if you, you go to I don't know, any office and just record over them as well, would you? Yeah, go to offices, yeah. Hmm. Out of interest, how come? Just because you like seeing inside, or what it is, I know I'm saying too much. What it is, we're showing drone users that what do you mean saying too much because we also we're making a video, aren't we? And he doesn't yeah. want to hear my voice no, 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 on no. his video too much, uh, so we take it in turns. No, not at all. Okay, we want to hear You're welcome to leave at any time. No, no one's like, oh, uh, can you just speak? oh no, don't worry, I'm just interested. We want to hear progression. So if you can actually take something from this, and so can we, mm. great. If we walk away with a great video, and to see that we've educated somebody, and the drone users that are constantly being told, you can't do this, you can't do that, they're not brave enough to come to police stations. We've got to do it for them. We've oh, got to stand up for them. Why. Yeah, because the- So drone users are getting told off. That's one of the thing. things, that's one of the things. And it's happened today. Why, I keep asking, why do you guys think that a 249 gram drone is a danger and we're not allowed to fly when the CAA make the rules and that they say we are. Well like my colleague said earlier, hits a car, people cause a car. That's crash. what insurance is for. Stop. I know but So what you're not gonna drive your car just in case you have a crash? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, drone's anyway, uh, have we got anywhere? Well yeah I've learned a bit. Thank you. you. Something as well. You see why he came up to you to have a chat. It's Hopefully natural. Next time you come across somebody with a drone, yeah. you won't just assume they're doing something wrong. Because if it's a very lightweight drone like this, look, I'll bring it in so you can actually see it. That's right, I saw it when it was going on. The battery's low anyway. I just wanted to make a point see, that- if the battery's low, they're more likely to hit those. No. Because it will descend by itself. Doesn't it? So it just goes softly to the ground. Well, back to it. Yeah, no, it's a tiny thing. So because you stuck around, right, every drone has to have that sticker on, the operator ID. Now, once you put that number into PNC, mm -hmm. that will give you the name of the person responsible for the drone. Like a driving Yeah, insurance. yeah. And you see the weight, the 249 weight there, mm -hmm. that's printed on the drone. That shows you it's, so, it's the, the lightest drone possible and it can fly anywhere as close to it. Buildings, there is no minimum distance for that size of drone. What um, weight does it go up to that you can't drive in 250 grams. So 249 is the max. 250 grams. What, that you can't fly next to the You can fly closer than 50 metres if it's over 250. You can't fly more than 50 metres. So you must intentionally fly over people. Intentionally fly over people. Do you know if there was a crowd of people yeah. and you started going over and being a nuisance mm. to, to provoke a reaction from people, then that's a bit naughty. Mm. But if there's a people maybe walking around in your car park and you're a fair distance away, not causing them any sort of need to go like this, mm. which what yeah. about the noise? No. Obviously, it's quite loud. Noise if doesn't matter. This guy, what he's just said, is spot on. Are you on the CAA website? No, not that one. Sorry. Oh, your own, your own legislation, is it? 
No. No, it's online, but it's not that website. Well, it's nice to see. Cool. Where can I find this video, by the way, if I want to watch it? You just want to be a YouTube star. He doesn't. That's why you're standing around here. Yeah, I just want to That's why you just sat there posing like that, innit? To make sure I get your good side. Yeah, actually, this is my good side. I cropped it. Oh, really? Yeah, so my fault would be on the good side. But no, you don't have a YouTube name. Hashtag I've got YouTube, Royal I've got Police Station. I, I definitely watched your videos before, so. Yeah, yeah, that would be, yeah. So, what's the name? <laughs> what's the name? I don't know. Okay, cool. Um, I'll probably find it anyway. Alright, yeah, see you later. Enjoy. Pleasure meeting you. So, there you go, guys. The initial arrival. All the uh, attention was on Coley over there, who it turns out he didn't even have the drone. He was standing there with a controller which wasn't linked to anything. So here's me over here flying away, not even been spoken to. So yeah, that's it. So I needed to go over there and prove my point. And I think now she, when she does go and tell them what happened, and I think the knowledge will sink in a little bit, but I was conscious there that I didn't want to talk too much because we were both trying to make a video there. And uh, being in Coley's company it's such a pleasure and I didn't want to take over so it was a tricky one when you're together with uh, other creators I'm only messing we did. it's sort of a double bluff if I hide you'll think I'm messing and you'll just leave me alone we, why are you doing that? yeah that's the question isn't it yeah she'll tell you of oh, course, it's a long story, isn't it? I've got all day. Okay, you go all day. We're just... This guy looked up some legislation and he's spot on with it. Do you want to tell him about drones? We've just been taking a drone over to have a lucky place. Why? For fun, for the video, for entertainment. To entertain who? The viewers. You've got to take it, you've got your licence and all the relevant stuff. Oh, yeah, he's, he's seen it all, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good fun, isn't it? you got to admit, it's something different that brightens up your day, doesn't it? Why the mask then? Because you know your reflection in the glass. I don't want to be on my own video. Why? I want to stay. Um, I want to stay private. Do you know in a public place you create your privacy, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> Do you know what yeah. I mean? Strange, very strange. Just strange. Eat, eat the road, mate. Yeah, but you've got to admit, having somebody tell you up front what they're doing, it's That's nice, problem, isn't it? It's problem, mate. But you, you've got me talking. You, you can't get rid of me now. But don't, don't come in. I won't. Place. I won't. I'll just come up to you're the. Not, you're not. You're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Is there any security that you don't want me to see? Oh, I can see it all. <laughs> is this an unmarked police car or is it personal? Why? Because if it's personal, I won't get the reg. To be honest, it's police, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Don't read it out loud. <laughs> oh, I can see yeah, the... Is different, my friend. Yeah, no worries. I'm trying to c c maintain your um, trying, yeah. personal I've been, data. I've been, uh... Too long to give a shit, mate. I, <laughs> I love it. Take care, mate. So I saw the blue lights. It was um, a police vehicle. But you see the ones that are actually um, looking for the trouble. They're looking to see what uh, people are doing wrong. They're spotting it all before it happens. And they've got it really around London because there's so much dodgy stuff going around. Having someone that's alert like that is uh, spot on. So, but he says I don't give. I don't give a shit. I've been around too long to give a or something like that. <laughs> I'll have to listen to it back to see exactly what he said. I'll play it now. I've been uh, around too long to give a shit, mate. <laughs> I love it. So this is the front uh, entrance to Croydon Police Station with public access. And I just wanted to check if it's still 24 hours. And I can't see any signs that tell me the opening hours uh, so far. Fibrillator kept behind the counter on the wall in the front office. Public area building. It's unusual, isn't it? Normally the defibrillator is kept where it's uh, supposed to be kept. But for some reason they've moved it so it's, it's not publicly accessible. Where's the defibrillator, mate? Where's the defibrillator? No, for some reason it's been moved from public uh, access. It's been moved from public access. I'm just wondering why. Yeah, um, obviously when they're needed, there's no time to waste. My friend. I'm asking, I don't know if it's in that box. Is it in the box? 
Okay, well, I'm, I'm very shocked. No, it's not in the box. But do you know if this time was wasted and I did need it? I cannot afford this waste of time. I need the defibrillator then as a test. Come on, I need it. No? Right, you don't know why I'm here, who sent me here, but I need to know how quick I can access the defibrillator. Right, right. So can it fit through here? Right, so you're telling me that door has access into there within seconds. So I'm, I'm afraid that's failed because you didn't know that it wasn't in there, did you? Oh, I didn't know because I've got one with all the iron in it. Are you saying you originally had two? I believe so. Well, that's the reason I had a box in the wood It's empty, mate. Wait, what did it say on the door? I know, but that, that's what I mean. It tells you that the defibrillator is kept behind the counter. Where is the public one? It's not good enough. I'm going to have to raise that as a concern. How long has it been like it? Yeah, I do apologise, and I didn't mean to interrupt, so apologies for that, okay? Is there a toilet? So there you see, guys, the defibrillator, in times of when you need it in that emergency, if he is dealing with somebody else, it then creates an unnecessary delay, and that delay cannot be afforded in the times of them extreme emergencies when the defibrillator is needed to save somebody's life. You've got a sign here saying defibrillator, Lon London Ambulance Service. And that means the defibrillator is somewhere that's accessible by the public. There should be no further barrier at all. And as you can clearly see in there, there is a barrier. And he wasn't very happy about me questioning him on where it's gone. I don't know. I've got another one here if you need it. Well, sometimes, my friend, the backup might not be accessible as quick as you need it. So we'll leave that one there, guys. We've had a bit of um, a chat to everyone and got the drone message through to these. Another Metropolitan Police Station that I don't think's had the drone over yet. So we've been brave enough to do it and we're walking away with the drone. So I think that's a result. So if you have enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.